there's a lot of content out there talking about how everybody can code. And that's true, right? You don't need to be a math genius to start learning basic Python. And the barrier to entry is not as high as a lot of people think. And while yes, I do believe that anybody can start to learn how to code, I do think you should stop and ask yourself, should you learn to code? So in this video, I'm going to be going over some reasons for why you should or should not learn to code. But of course, before we begin, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video, Mailgun. Mailgun is the leading email delivery service for businesses around the world. It's how modern companies work with email. The platform's easy to use and has world-class support. You could send and track your transactional marketing messages effortlessly. You could prevent fake signups and remove invalid email addresses from your list quickly. And you could partner with email experts to improve your email deliverability and drive higher conversion rates. Today, Mailgun already helps hundreds of thousands of companies and partners with leading brands around the world to provide connected experiences and drive smart results. Mailgun empowers companies around the world to solve complex communication problems. Through its powerful email API and intuitive marketing solutions, Mailgun Mailgun controls the entire email lifecycle from pre-development through the delivery of over 240 billion emails a year for companies like DHL, Wikipedia, Toast, Lyft, and Microsoft. Their send time optimization capability automatically finds the ideal time for each individual on your list and when they're most likely to engage. It's never been easier to build connected experiences. And if you guys are interested, you can sign up with my link, mailgun.com slash Nick today. Once again, that's mailgun.com slash Nick. I'm gonna put that link in the description. So click that if you wanna try it out or learn more. Thank you, Mailgun, for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to the reasons you should or should not learn to code. Okay, so I'm gonna actually start with covering some of the main reasons that you should learn to code. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go over some of the reasons that you shouldn't learn to code. If you agree or disagree with my reasons, drop a comment below. And if you think of any other reasons someone should or shouldn't learn to code, feel free to drop that in the comments as well. So the first reason, which I think is a reason a lot of people do get into coding in the first place, is that it is financially life-changing. So if you're unfamiliar, a lot of the jobs that involve coding in the tech industry will pay you six-figure salaries with benefits. Some pay up to 200,000, 300,000 at the top companies. Some pay up to 500,000. But even just at the 80 to $120,000 salary range, that is very life-changing for a lot of people out there. Now, I started coding at a pretty young age, but before my first internship, I was only used to making a little bit above minimum wage. So I hadn't experienced what it was like to not worry about money. But through learning to code, I was able to put myself in a position where now I can afford rent in a big city, food, entertainment, travel, and other expenses without having to stress that much. So if you struggle with money or you just wanna become more financially comfortable, then learning to code is a great path to achieve that. The next reason I think that people should learn to code is if you try it out and you really enjoy it. I had to stretch for a few years in college where I enjoyed coding so much that I didn't really wanna do anything else besides it. Now, of course, that can get someone unhealthy if you're sacrificing your relationships with your friends and family but I would give almost anything to go back and feel that excitement when you're first learning the code and you're developing your skills for the first time because it feels like there are endless possibilities so if you try it out and you really enjoy it or you feel that burning passion and excitement then I definitely think you should go for it because it can lead to some really great memories and friendships down the road. Another reason I think someone should learn to code is if you can't think of anything else that you want to do. If you're not passionate about anything else and you can't think of any other career path, then just learn to code. I think coding is just a good avenue to go down in this case because it's kind of a fail safe. It's a good safety net if you want to move on from it. And it leads to a ton of different career opportunities down the road. And then the last reason I have for if you should learn to code is if you want to improve your logical thinking. So learning to code for me at least has completely changed the way that I think in general. I've noticed that the more I code, the more I think logically. It's helped me a lot with analysis and how I think about things. And it helps me just in general understand the world a little bit better because I think about how things work more. So those are some of the main reasons I would recommend someone learn how to code. And now I'm going to go into some of the reasons why I think someone shouldn't code, which you might notice there are some opposites to what I just said. So since I was just talking about the logical thinking, I think it's best to start off with the first reason I think you shouldn't code, which is if you're a creative. Now, I'm not saying that there's zero creativity that goes into programming, but I think it's a little bit of an exaggeration when people talk about creative solving in programming. I would say that most problem solving in programming is analytical because you're usually trying to optimize for the best performance and minimize any risk. 
So that doesn't leave for as much creativity as you would think. And just like I was saying before, I think coding hardwires your brain a little bit to think in a certain way. As I was saying over time with more and more coding, I noticed myself thinking a lot more analytically and logically, which is a negative in some circumstances when you're supposed to be thinking illogically. For example, in social settings or when you're supposed to be emotional. So if you're not really interested in changing up your mindset or becoming a more logical person, and programming might not be a good fit for you. So I would say to ask yourself before you dive into learning how to code, did you enjoy mathematics or something more like English growing up? Now we all know that you don't need to be good at mathematics to learn how to code, but I would take it as some sort of indication if you hated mathematics, for example, that you might not necessarily enjoy programming. Now obviously don't base it on that entirely, but I would assume that the people that preferred mathematics and sciences growing up would be better fit for learning to code and be more interested in coding than the people that preferred things like English and the arts. But once again, do not base it on that entirely. That's just my intuition. The next reason I think you shouldn't learn how to code is if you expect to work on cool things in industry. Now, if you're learning to code without the expectation of going into the tech industry and you're doing it for personal reasons to build personal projects, well then yeah, you can build whatever you want. There's a ton of cool things you could build. That sounds amazing. But if you expect to work on cool things while working a job, then you might be disappointed. I hate to break it to you guys, but in most software engineering roles, you're probably not gonna be working on anything that exciting. Now, some people do find it exciting to work on small features for websites that millions of users use. So there is some impact there. But for me, that's not what I would necessarily consider exciting. If you're like me, you maybe think of cool things as being like self-driving cars or augmented reality. But unfortunately, in most cases, only the very top engineers get to work on the cool stuff. So you're gonna have to work extremely hard for a long period of time to even get to the point where you get to work on that stuff. Most of these positions are gonna be doing things like working with legacy software, developing internal tools for companies, or making small contributions to massive code bases. The next reason I think you shouldn't learn to code is if you're lazy. In movies and media, you might have this idea of a programmer as this naturally gifted or brilliant person. Like in The Social Network, where Mark Zuckerberg walks in, starts drinking some beers and hacking Harvard's databases. But nobody's naturally gifted enough to the point where they can just effortlessly build anything. Programming requires a tremendous amount of effort not only just to get good but to stay good so if you're lazy and you think you're not going to have to work at developing your skills then you're probably not going to accomplish very much with coding and another thing we all know is that technologies are changing and updating all of the time so what's being used to build today's software might be outdated tomorrow so you need to put in consistent effort just to stay up with the latest tech and trends and that leads to my very last point in this video for why you shouldn't learn to code is you don't want to be engulfed in this entirely new world if you're going to become a programmer then you're probably going to be involved in the programming community and it's pretty difficult to avoid it. It's somewhat of a lifestyle choice to become a programmer because you're gonna have to be communicating with other programmers even to get a job they want you to be on all of the social networks posting content about programming and just like my last point just to stay up to date you're gonna have to be monitoring what's going on in tech uh, just to keep your skills up to date, you're gonna have to be coding like every single day. So essentially it's gonna be a part of your daily routine and it's gonna partially become who you are. And the thing is, it's pretty easy to let this take over your entire identity really easily. I see it with almost every programmer. Their entire lives and personalities are completely based around coding, which maybe isn't that healthy. So that's the final thing I wanna mention and you might be at risk of this happening to you. So those are all the main reasons I think you should or shouldn't learn how to code. Like I said, if you guys agree or disagree, drop a comment below. And if I forgot anything, drop a comment below as well. And once again, thanks to Mailgun for sponsoring this video. This is actually gonna be the last video I shoot in this environment, I think. I'm currently in an Airbnb because I wanted to see if I liked Austin, Texas. This is my 15th Airbnb I've been living in over two years. So, so as a 24 year old grown man, I have officially signed my first apartment lease. I'm gonna be staying in Austin, Texas for a little bit over a year, 14 months. So if you guys are here, feel free to shoot me a DM and we can go get coffee or hang out. Thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.